Okay, so I'm going to describe how to write an equation of a line when you can't determine it from the graph. You see, we wouldn't be able to get the y-intercepts because they're off of, they're well off of the graph paper. So, first thing to notice though is if we're looking at line AB, that's point A, point B, it's going to have a negative slope. And because DC is parallel to it, they're both going to have the same slope. So there's a little bit of shortcuts we can take. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to find two points. So point A, we're going to use 6 comma 6. Right? That's point number 1. P, uh, point B we'll use as number 2. And 7, 3 are the coordinates. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of that line first. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is going to be 3 minus y1, which is 6. And now x2, 7, x1 is 6. Careful, it's a negative 3 over 1. So it's got a slope of negative 3. And you can tell that it comes down uh, in the negative direction. Okay, so now we're going to use a point and the slope to get the value for b. So y equals mx plus b. All right, y, we're going to use this point here. y is 6. Our slope is negative 3, and our x-coordinate is also 6. Plus b, we don't know what b is. We're going to be solving it. That's negative 18. We need to add 18 to both sides. Okay, so b is equal to 24. So the equation for that line, for line ab, is y equals negative 3x plus 24. So the only thing we need to do with line dc is to come up with the y-intercept, which is going to be way up over here. It's going to be big, but we already know the slope, so it'll be easier. We do need to pick a point on that line, though. We're probably going to use 12, 8. So our point is going to be 12, 8. That's right here. And our slope, we already know, it's negative 3. Okay, so right now we're trying to get the equation for line DC. So this is for this is for DC. So let's write our formula out. Okay, y is, is 8, m is negative, whoops, m is negative 3, and our x value is 12. Remember we're solving for b, we need the y-intercept. So be negative 36 plus b. So I need to add 36 to both sides. So what's that kind of give us? 44 is equal to b. So the equation for this line is y equals negative 3x plus 44. Okay, so what we have here is the equation for line AB, the equation for line DC. AB is here, DC is here. Now we need to get AD. So we're going to go for AD. We got to start back by getting two points on the line because we don't know we don't know what the slope is going to be. It'll be positive. So let's use point 
going to use point A again, which is 6, 6, number 1, and we'll use D. This will be number 2, and it is 12, 8. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use the slope formula to get the slope here. So m is equal to y2 minus y1. That's all over x2 minus x1. So y2, 8, minus y1, 6, for x2, 12 minus 6. So we have 2 minus 6, or 1 third. 1 third is our slope. Now we have to use the formula to get the, the y-intercept. Okay, I'm just going to pick this point here again, 6, 6. This makes it a little easier than the 12, 8. So our y-value is 6. Our slope, we said, was 1 third. And our x value is 6 plus b. So 1 third of 6 is 2. I need to subtract 2 from both sides. So 4 is equal to b. So the formula, or the, uh, not the formula, the, the equation of the line for ad is going to be 1, whoops, I should write it in the form of y equals, right? y equals 1 third x, there's the slope, plus 4. That does a, that does a d, a d. Now we've got to get b, c. We know the slope already. One third. We need to have a coordinate on that line, though. Uh, seven three is fine. Our point seven comma three, and we're just going to go ahead and put this into our formula. Y is going to be three right from there. Our slope m is negative, or is one third, but x is seven. Must be. So one third times seven over one equals seven over three. X plus B. So we're gonna have to subtract seven thirds from both sides. Okay. So we get rid of it. B. So our question is 3 over 1 minus 7 over 3. We need a common denominator, which is 3. So how many 1's in 3? There's 3 times 3 is 9. So that gives us 2 thirds. So 2 thirds is our y-intercept. So our formula for uh, B, C is going to be Y equals one third X plus two thirds. It's okay to have fractions because it would be right here. I know that the pencil is big, but this would be two thirds right here. So that's the last formula. And that answers all the questions. I think. Nope, we need the area. I'm going to have to come back and do that because I think it's.